Hello there, I'm Jimmy Vegas, and welcome to the 19th video in a series of game development tutorials on how to make your own visual novel style game in Unity. In this tutorial, we'll be creating a credit scene and linking it back to our main menu. Remember to subscribe and click the notification bell to stay up to date with every tutorial I upload. Feel free to leave a comment and drop a like. I also have a Patreon page where you can help be a part of this channel. You'll find all the scripts and the assets to this series there too, along with plenty of other things. You can also now join as a free member. Now, on with the tutorial. So, as we mentioned um, previously in one of the earlier tutorials, we've already set up a scene ready for the credits. And the idea is that when we click this button here, it will take us to the credit scene, we'll be able to see the credits, and it'll just take us back to the main menu. So that's what we're going to achieve in this tutorial. We're going to use methods that we've learned before, but we're going to use them slightly differently to show you just how all the mechanics that you've learned over the last 19 tutorials can be manipulated and changed to suit whatever narrative you want in your game. So firstly, let's go to our scenes and let's go to our credit scene. And already we have just a blank scene because there is nothing literally in here. So I want this background to be white. I want it to kind of match the um, actual main menu. So it kind of seems a bit seamless. So let's go to game object. Let's go to UI and let's go to raw image. Uh, let's stretch this all the way across the scene. So zero, 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 zero. And at this point, you can probably see just how quickly you can create things in Unity now because you just know what to do. Uh, and the idea of what we're doing here is we're going to create a text box that basically just scrolls upwards. And when it's finished, we go back to the main menu. So firstly, let's rename this as background. And then let's go to game object. Let's go to UI and let's go to text. Uh, let's change the text color to maybe kind of an off black, my slightly gray kind of color. And let's uh, bold this one. And I guess what we could do is we could change the font size a bit because it's it, it's probably going to be a bit small when we do this to the canvas. So let's set up our canvas next. Um, so as always, let's change it to scale and set our resolution 1920, 1080 and always in center. Next thing we want to do is move our text down below the actual screen, so probably around there. And I'm going to stretch it downward, um, simply because this is, uh, it'll make sense as we type this in. So what we'll say is developer, and then we'll hit return a few times, and we'll say programmer. Uh, let's stretch this across a bit more. There we go. And um, let's say play testers, and then we'll go down a couple more and we'll say special thanks. So already it doesn't look too enticing, doesn't look much like a credit scene. However, rest assured, it will do when we get round to the whole process. So next, uh, I want to set this as uh, right. So there we go. It's right against the right hand side. So that's fine. Um, let's have the font size as 48 and let's stretch it a little bit more just so as everything fits. Right. So that's not going to look much different right now. Uh, we're not going to see anything at all. However, when we get it scrolling up, it's going to look just fine. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to rename that text and say, um, title, i.e. that this is the job title of people. And then hold control, press D to duplicate, and then move that duplication over just a little bit. And let's set it to the left, and I'm going to unbold it. And firstly, I'm going to put pretty much my name for everything here. So Jimmy Vegas, and then programmer is Mr. Jimmy Vegas. You know, you would actually put whoever the correct person is for this job title, playtesters. Um, Jimmy V. Um, who else can I put? Um, I'll put uh, <laughs> YouTube subs. Uh, you know, you've play tested this technically. Um, and who else can be a play tester? Maybe Joe Blogs. And if we go down a bit more, uh, we'll say special thanks. I'll put my wife because I love my wife very much. Mrs. 
Vegas. So what we've essentially done here is we've created two text boxes, one for the job title, one for the actual credit name, and we'll put credit name there. The next thing to do would be to animate these. And the easiest way to do that is head to animations. And let's start with the title and let's go to animation. Let's create and we'll put title scroll. And then we'll press record. And now what we want to do is we want to make sure the very first keyframe is the exact position it is right now on the Y. And you can tell the difference if we select our move tool, you can see that everything gets set. It's only going to be on this one. So we just need to make sure that the Y position is set exactly as it is here. So we can copy that number in there, set it to zero, and then paste the actual value. So there, it's set. We'll have this scrolling over, uh, let's say, 10 seconds, because it's a very short credit scene. If you want them to scroll slower, you would take longer. If you want to scroll faster, you would be quicker. So five seconds. Uh, we'll do 600. So by the 600th frame, we want our credits to be up there. So we'll say 756. So remember that number, 756. Uh, next, let's press the record button once again. And let's now set the animation for the credit name. So select credit name, go to animation, click on create, and we'll put um, cred scroll. So press record and remember to set that Y position. So we can copy that Y position, set it to zero, and then paste our Y position. And next, go to same frame as before, so 600, and set it to whatever we had the other one as. So mine was 756. So whatever yours was as the final uh, position on the Y for the title, that's what you put here. So now let's press the record button. Click on project. Uh, now let's click on that cred scroll, untick loop time, and the other one was title scroll, untick loop time, and press play. And we should see our credits scroll nicely the screen. Excellent. So that works perfectly as intended. So when we get to the 10th second, obviously the animation will stop. So what we need to do now is we need to create a script that acts on this credit scene and takes us back to the main menu. So let's go to our scripts. And as this is not any specific main scene, we can just do it here. So create a new script. And we'll put cred to main. And we'll open that up in Visual Studio. So the idea is we're just going to use a coroutine to wait for 10 seconds and then send ourselves back to main menu. Because we're using the um, load scene feature, we need to add in the namespace using Unity Management. And as always, I will leave this script in the pinned comment for you to uh, download for free. Get rid of void update, don't need it. Get rid of the annotations, don't need them. We do, however, need a coroutine. So I enumerator, and we'll call it credits back because we're going back from the credits. Open close bracket, open curly bracket. Like I said, we wait for 10 seconds because that's how long our credits take to run. So yield, return new, wait for seconds, and in brackets, 10. Obviously, if yours takes 20 seconds, put 20. After this, we need to say scene manager dot load scene and then the scene number, which is our main menu. So let's quickly double check that. Let's go to file and check on the build settings. And main menu is scene number one. So we can put that in there with a semicolon. Finally, in void start, we put start coroutine. And in brackets, the name of the coroutine we've just done, which is credits back. Open close bracket, close bracket, semicolon, and save. Let's head back into Unity. Give it a second to compile. And essentially, all we need to do is we need to uh, put this script on a game object. So we can go game object, create empty. Let's call it Fred Control. 
and then drag and drop the cred to main script on there. There's no variables, so if we press play now, wait for 10 seconds for the credits to scroll, we should go back to the main menu. And obviously the next thing to logically do would be to link that button on the main menu. So we'll do that once we've tested this out. So far so good. And there we go, our main menu. So let's get this credits button working next. So let's save that scene and head to the scenes folder and go to main menu. Now we've created buttons before, we know how to uh, link them together. So let's go to menu control and let's double click on main menu script. Next thing to do is create the um, sequence that will basically take us to our credits. So like we did with start game and load game, let's create a new method. So public void go to credits open close bracket, open curly bracket. And naturally we want these two lines to play. So we want the button click to sound and we want the fade out to occur. So both of them lines would be the same. Next thing to do is write the coroutine for that. So much like these here, we can just copy that transfer to class scene and let's paste it below and call it transfer to credits. Uh, we wait for three seconds and then we load the scene. So let's quickly double check what our scene number is for the credits. And it is currently number four. Naturally, if you have more scenes, that credit scenes might end up being five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So just make sure you keep an eye on that credit scene number. So we can put it as four for now. So we need to make sure that our method for that button now refers to transfer to credits. So head back up. And let's go to this one here, go to credits, and let's say start coroutine and in brackets, transfer to credits. Open close bracket, close bracket, semicolon, and save. And let's head back into Unity and give it a second just to compile, as always. There we go. And finally, let's set up our button on the canvas. So credits, we just need to click on the plus on list is empty, drag and drop menu control, click no function, click on main menu, and then click on go to credits. I'm now going to save the scene. Let's press play and let's test this out. Hopefully we should be able to keep looping round and round. Uh, so credits. And there we go, we scroll our credits. Excellent, and this should take us back to the main menu. And there we go, excellent. So let's just make sure we can do it again. Make sure that credit scene loads. And it does, excellent. Okay, perfect. So this is really coming together now. So next tutorial, what we're going to do is we are going to import a font and we're going to build the font file in Unity. And I think we'll also create a proper fade in for this main menu because I don't like the way it just kind of jolts in. So we're going to create a really, um, what's the word, emotional fade in uh, to kind of match the tone of everything. Um, so remember to subscribe, click that notification bell, stay up to date with every tutorial still to come in this series, and I'll see you next time.